Hello and welcome. I'm Pete from DigiOz Multimedia and I will be showing you how to install the Android development environment on a Windows machine. To start, navigate to developer.android.com slash SDK slash index.html and click on download the SDK ADT bundle for Windows. Once the download is completed, uh, you will, if you go inside the uh, zip file that that's been downloaded, you will see a folder called ADT Bundle Windows. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to extract this folder to my machine. In this case, I will put it in my C software ADT Bundle. and allow it to extract the files. This may take a few minutes. Once your uh, file is completely extracted, uh, if you navigate to the folder that's, that you just created, and there you'll see two different folders in there folder called Eclipse and another folder called SDK. Go inside the uh, um, Eclipse uh, folder and double click on Eclipse.exe to uh, run the uh, development environment. So here I'm just going to go with the default, uh, going to say uh, Workspace Android, because I have multiple instances of uh, Android on this machine. And I'm going to say use this as default. And here it is. So the welcome screen, you're welcome to read it on your own time, but uh, I'm just going to close out of that. So we're halfway there. Um, let's create a new Android project. And I'm just going to call this Hello World. And I'm going to accept all the default values here. And next, blank activity is fine and finish. Notice the uh, Android 4.2 is still being downloaded so that may take a few minutes depending on your connection. So here we are and the last uh, thing that we have to do is to set up the uh, virtual device. So I'm going to click on the Android Virtual Device Manager here and depending on your environment setting the default uh, virtual device that's been set up may or may not work. So let's set up another one here. I'm going to say AVD default and 320 by 480 is the most common uh, screen resolution so I'm going to pick this guy here and notice the internal storage is 200 megs I'm going to say 512 for uh, this new device and say OK so let's close out of here now the last thing I, ha I want to do is to run the emulator. So before I do this though, let's uh, start the emulator from here. I'm going to select it and say start and launch. 
so it will start the emulator again depending on your uh, setting the emulator may take a few minutes to fully load the first time you run it so be patient with it so let's go ahead and run this uh, new application that we just created by going right clicking on the project folder going to run as Android application and we should see our application here which is going to be a simple hello world uh, type application Notice down here, uh, hello world.apk is getting built and it's going to get launched to the uh, emulator. And here it is, hello world. So this means that your uh, uh, settings are all correct and you're ready to uh, start coding. Happy coding!